Um, what we're going to want to do is we want to identify the vertex first, which we again we said that the vertex was at 5, comma, negative 5. Right? There's our vertex. Label your vertex. The next thing is we need to identify p. Now remember, 4p is equal to a negative 8. So now we're going to solve for p. So we're going to divide by 4 on both sides. p is equal to negative 2. So we have a little interesting quandary here. Where is this focus? The one thing that's helpful, what has been the same, Brian, don't ever do that again. What has been the same for the, all of these videos has been that y has been squared. So therefore, the parabola opens up left or right. Are we OK with that? Yeah. We agree with that, right? OK. So therefore, if p is negative, should I go to the right or should I go to the left? Yeah. To the left. So I go over two units. And I label that over two units. So I can say my focus is now at 3, comma, negative 5. So originally, the focus is at 5. So you go over 2. So no, p is how p. Look at your little graph. P is the distance from your vertex to your focus. So if you're at 5 and you go 2 to the left, you're now at 3. Right? So Make sense? Yep. So there's your focus. And then your directrix is going to be P in the opposite direction. So since it was negative 2, that took us to the left. Opposite of negative 2 is positive 2, which is going to take us to the right. And our parabola opens up towards the focus or away from it? Towards. Our directrix is, again, another vertical line, which in this case is x equals 7. See? All right. So 